I'm coming to you today from the brand new Davidson Center for Space Exploration here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Over my right shoulder there is a replica of the Saturn V rocket that was used in the 1960s and 70s during the Apollo moon missions. It's 363 feet tall, which means that excluding TV and radio transmission towers, it's the tallest structure between Nashville and Birmingham. Behind me inside the Davidson Center is another Saturn V rocket, but this one is made up of test stages that were actually used here at Marshall Space Flight Center in the 1960s to test the Saturn V rocket before it was used in the space program. Like most kids who grew up in this town, I've been here to the Space Center many times. The first time probably coming almost 30 years ago. And I came back over and over again on school trips and with friends and even for birthday parties because that's the kind of thing that you did in a town like this. Uh, my parents brought me to Marshall Space Flight Center and they brought me here in 1978 when the Space Shuttle Enterprise, which was the test mock-up vehicle for the Space Shuttle program, came here to Huntsville. And uh, if you are looking at this video today, through a link on my blog, you'll see a photograph of me from 1978 uh, standing in front of the Shuttle Enterprise. That experience was uh, very important to me growing up. Uh, I hate to use a cliche, but the space program really captured my imagination as a kid. I can clearly remember in the fourth grade writing a uh, report on the space shuttle, complete with a pencil drawn sketch of the space shuttle on the outside cover and notebook paper. And I remember in 1986, I was in middle school watching the space shuttle launch. And by that point, we had put about two dozen of these shuttles into space fairly successfully, and most of the country wasn't watching anymore. But those of us here in Huntsville and people in Houston, the places where the space program was based were still watching. And I was watching that day when Challenger exploded. And I sat in front of that TV at my school for the rest of the day, and I remember none of my teachers brought me back to class. And my mom came and picked me up, and I went home, and I watched TV all that night, trying to understand what had happened. And I was on TV the next day, too, when the local TV station came to our school. And I remember saying that I thought that space flight was dangerous, but it was, it was important that we continue. And I believed that on through high school and into my college years until I started realizing how exactly we were spending our money in our space program and what kinds of mistakes we were making. Since that time, we've lost another shuttle and we've lost another crew of brave astronauts. And we've learned some things about NASA and some of the engineers and contractors and some of the decisions that were made that were probably not the best decisions to be made. And now behind me, you can see the $10 million Davidson Center. Up until now, for the last 40 years, those Saturn V stages have been on display here at the Space and Rocket Center, but they've been outside, exposed to the elements and in, someone in their wisdom decided that a public-private partnership would be a good idea to put that thing inside. Now it sure does look nice and it's a nice display and uh, it's really interesting when you get to see it up close. But I'm not so sure we couldn't have done better with that ten million dollars. This is not a big city. Uh, we have a lot of people here but we certainly could have used that money for other things. And when I think about the space program in the 1960s I believe there's no way we would have gone to the moon without the Soviet Union. There was no reason for us to go there at that point in time. Just like today, there's no reason for us to spend billions of dollars so a man can set foot on Mars and come back here just to say he did it. It's our hubris, it's our pride, it's our arrogance as a human race that we feel like that's something that we need to do, that those billions of dollars need to be spent sending somebody to Mars. I really think after all this time, that we need to master the earth first and master the sea and learn all the things that we can economically and affordably get here before we go into the expansive expense of space or the expensive expanse of space even to find those things next. I think at some point humans will set foot on Mars and maybe even some of the other planets. I think that's past my lifetime too. But I, that's okay. I think that's okay because I think those billion do billions of dollars should probably be spent here. So I'm not a very uh, popular
popular figure in my hometown. Uh, we owe a lot to the space industry and the defense industry here. But I also think that with the problems that we face in our country and in this world, the challenges that we face, the mistakes that have been made in the last seven years and the billions and billions of dollars that have been wasted, this is money that should not have been wasted. And billions of dollars to send somebody to Mars, that's not some, something that should be wasted either. 